wanna say, I won't go back If you wanna hit the road, then let's go then Let's just go and see the world and just show them What it really means to live life golden Okay, so the black extension for the crankshaft that you can see here is for the flywheel to sit on. Because when you put this distance plate in between that comes with the automatic flywheel, the crank is just too short for the flywheel to actually sit on. So when you have the distance in place, you put this ring gear plate that comes with the automatic versions of the 2JC. And of course you should torque everything off the spec. Now we have this shiny flywheel in place. It is fastened with the 8 bolts in the middle. It comes with a new built-in pilot bearing, that is really nice. The used ZF transmission that we bought did not come with a slave cylinder, so we installed a new slave cylinder in it before we actually mounted the transmission. Here we have the clutch aligned with a clutch alignment tool. Okay, so now we have the whole conversion kit installed. Now we just need to mount the gearbox, slave cylinder and the starter engine. So Tony have made this downpipe finished so we are now going to test fit it So this is the first start after we did the gearbox conversion. We are just running with the downpipe now, but we wanted to test the gearbox before we finish the exhaust. So we had put a thicker wastegate spring in, so I couldn't really go in to boost this test drum. Det är en 0,3 vanligt, men det är inte 
After we finished the test run, we continued with building the exhaust. I am really lucky to have Tony help me with the welding. He's a real master at his craft. The muffler that you see here isn't actually a muffler, it's just a 3.5 inch pipe with a bigger pipe on top of it to make it look like a muffler. We did not make any video how the new exhaust sounded, so this is the only video I have from the new exhaust sound. Kali here is being a proud BMW owner.